My grandfather's name was Isidore Feinberg. His family was from the Pale of Settlement. My father's name was Louis Jacob Rubin, and he was born in Russia. My mother was born in 1916 in Poland. Aaron Goodman was a pioneer. He was the first to come from the old country, from Lithuania. Ernst Kohlberg ended up taking a boat from Germany and went to New York and then went to Chicago and came to El Paso by train and then stagecoach. My father's name was Naftali Frankel. He was born in Tarnow, Poland, December 26, 1921. There were a number of Jews who went from Poland, from Lithuania, from Eastern Europe, would sail to Veracruz and then make their way up to the border. And it took guts to find yourself in this city, in this region, trying to succeed and trying to thrive. I was conceived in Poland, born in Nicaragua, and raised in Texas, honey. This is not just a small town out in the middle of nowhere. This is a bridge between continents, cultures, time, languages. The Popular Dry Goods Company existed in El Paso for over 90 years. The Mexican Revolution was at the back door. There was a El Paso Laundry, for instance, which is a block and a half from the river. They would go on top of the laundry building and watch it from there. And so they made a plan to come out. And as they're coming through in, in Fabens, Texas, they have an accident in the car that turns over. When I grew up, Juarez and El Paso were almost like one. The congregation had four or 500 families and hundreds and hundreds of kids. It, it was a very close-knit community. There's a saying amongst the old Jewish families here that I still hear to this day, which is, El Paso has been really good to us, and so we need to be good to El Paso.